Hello, everyone. My name is Carmen Rubin, and I am the children's book author of Ashley Meets Birdman Al, The Gift of Guitar, and Honcho Hates Mud. Today, I'm going to be reading you my latest story, Honcho Hates Mud. While you're looking and listening, I want you to pay close attention to see if you can find some hidden peppermints. And then at the end of the story, I'll explain to you why I hide peppermints throughout my story. Are you ready? Good, let's go. Honcho hates mud. Honcho lives in the West where the sun burns hot and the redwood trees are very tall. If you follow the winding roads, they may lead you up and down the rolling hills to an old farm where a few shabby animals and their farmer live. The farmer is nice to all of his animals, but everyone knows who he loves the most, a spunky little pig named Pancho. Pancho loves the farmer and everyone else too, but there is one thing that she hates, mud. She lives in the dirtiest place on the farm. The sty is a muddy mess of bugs, worms, and rotten old food. Whenever the mud touches Honcho's skin, she wriggles and scratches and pinches her snout. Ah, she yells. The goop doesn't bother most of her friends, though. When the sun is hot, the mud cools them off. They splash and roll in it, throw slop, and make mud pies. Do you want to play? They ask. Nah, the mud is not for me, she tells them. I hate mud. And one day I'm going to get out of it. But you're a pig, they say. All pigs love mud. Oh, no, no, no. Not Honcho, the farmer reminds them. Haven't you seen the art she creates after spending time with the daisies, daydreaming under the trees, reading books, and munching on bushes of berries? We think Honcho is a bit crazy, they say, leaping into the pool of yuck. Whatever you call me is fine with me, Honcho replies. My mind will not change. I hate mud. Every day, Honcho walks around the farm picking leaves to make sweet tea. She thinks to herself, this barn needs cleaning and that door needs fixing. Good morning, Mr. Owl. How are you today, she asks as she passes him each morning. With a cow, she moves, and with a duck, she quacks. She's a weird little one, they say to each other. For fun, the other pigs send mud whirling through the air to see how fast they can send her running. They laugh because everyone knows Honcho hates mud. Late one night, as she was tossing and turning, Honcho dreamed of sitting in a building that touched the sky. She was dripping with pearls, traveling the world, and leaping from mountains into oceans. A glob of mud tapped on her. You're never going to get out of here, so I think it's time you start liking me. Well, what is there to like, she asked. You're a pig. You should do what pigs do and be like pigs are. There are many games for you to play with me, the mud explained. Hancho thought about it, and thought about it, and thought about it. Well, that's fine for other pigs, but not me. I hate mud. And as Hancho grew, she woke up in the mud and went to bed in the mud. The mud laughed at her, poked at her, and chased her. It was always nearby. Do you think that you are better than all of us? Some animals would ask. No, she'd say. You told us of the fancy things that you wear in your dreams. How will you get them? 
Nothing comes easy, was Hancho's reply. The moon was glowing bright one evening and the mud crept over to Hancho as she slept. So are you ready to be friends? Hancho rolled over and yelled with a pout, just go away, I hate mud. When the sun touched her skin the morning after, Hancho picked up her buckets and took the day on. She started mopping and scrubbing, planting seeds and watering the gardens. Oh, what a farm she was creating. The grass was like a field of emeralds and the corn's ears grew bigger. The fruit trickled with sugar and horses trotted proudly around the farm as they wore the dazzling shoes Hancho had shined. The mud saw what was happening and stayed close by. It kept talking to her and still chased her around. But Hancho stayed busy. Nothing was going to stop her. One day, the other animals watched her carefully. They gathered together near the barn. Have you tasted the hay? Asked one of the horses. It's amazing. My kids got loose and Hancho rounded them up, said a goat. A rooster told them about a syrup she'd made for his itchy throat. I'm all back to crowing. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. Every animal knew what Hancho had done for them. Clickety, clickety, clank, clank. The pails went tumbling and the water spilled everywhere. You look like you need some help, said one of the donkeys. Yes, yeah, said the ducks and pigs, let us work with you. She gave them all a job to do. Pull here, pluck there, take the food to the market, she would say. How do you like our sweet milk, the cows asked. They all loved what was happening to the farm and suddenly Hancho didn't seem so weird after all. And the mud, it stayed rotten and sloppy and never worked for Hancho. One day when the mud crept up on her once more, she pointed to where it belonged. A bitter pool of muddy mess, home to all the pigs who enjoy it. Hancho still lives in the West, where the sun burns hot and the redwood trees are very tall. If you follow the winding roads, they may lead you up and down the rolling hills to a farm where a spunky little pig wears pearls. The end. Do you see how I put peppermints throughout the story? There's one, there's another, and there's a ton of extras in the book. Now, why does Carmen put uh, hidden peppermints throughout her story? When I was a little girl, my grandfather started a peppermint candy club. And that club was all about showing love. And so I put them in there just to remind kids that when you receive love, that you also have to show love. Hancho hates mud, but Carmen Rubin and Hancho loves you. Thanks for joining in on today's read aloud. Have a great day, guys.